Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Um, we wanted to talk to you today about the Landry's card. Um, for those of you who are on Facebook groups or other boards online, you may have already heard of the, the Landry's card. Um, if you haven't, then we obviously wanted to tell you a bit more about it. We've got a couple of them here. I will show them more closely on, uh, hopefully that you can see them now. Um, but the Landry's card is an incentive scheme that allows you to earn some points and save some money along with some other benefits um, whilst dining in Orlando. So the places you can use it at, so if these restaurants aren't of interest to you then the card probably isn't right for you. But um, at Universal City Walk you've got Bubba Gump, you've got uh, Rainforest Cafe in Animal Kingdom and Disney Springs, um, you've got the Yak and Yeti restaurant which is in Animal Kingdom but that does exclude the quick service um, so it's, ju it's just valid for the sit down actual proper meal. Um, some service. And you've also got T-Rex obviously also at Disney Springs. So I know a lot of you probably go to those restaurants so there are some benefits worth having with the card. And we've actually um, used this card um, for the first time elsewhere. There was, uh, for example, Bubba Gump we used in Las Vegas on a previous trip. Uh, and we, it was the first time we were going to use it so we weren't really sure how it was going to pan out basically. Um, but it worked so well that we both thought it would be useful just to do a quick video just to show you the benefits and what it is and if it's right for you. Yeah, I mean initially just to explain it, firstly if you're planning a trip it's important to order your Landry's card early. It does say up to six weeks but it can take longer and I know people that have had it take 10 to 12 weeks to come. So I would certainly order it as soon as you can. When you place the order it costs $25 for your card However, they give you a $25 credit. So effectively it is free, because if you're gonna dine at those places anyway, the, the value is there. Um, the other benefit you get is a $25 birthday credit. Now, what we did was we went away when it was my birthday, so on my card it was very easy to get my credit. So I paid $25 for the card and got a $50 credit, which was the $25 sign up credit plus $25 bonus for my birthday. However, Rich's birthday wasn't then, so we put his birthday at the same time as mine, so we both got $50 each. So what we'd say is try and make sure that you're either going away during your birthday month, so you can spend your credit, or maybe put your birthday as when you're going, so that you can get the birthday credit as well, and that's $50 towards a meal. And the way that the birthday credit works is it will be applied on the first day of your birthday month. Um, so for example if your birthday is the 15th of September it will be applied automatically uh, on the 1st of September and it's valid until the 15th of the following month. So for example if it's the 15th of September, September your birthday it will expire on the 15th of October the following month. Yeah you can't unfortunately, you can defer it which means you can stop the credit being used at a particular meal. So say you were going to Rainforest Cafe and you didn't want to use your birthday credit then, you could defer it until you went to Bubba Gump's perhaps a week later, because that perhaps was a bigger meal. But you can't defer it past the period, so it's valid for a month and a half and that's it. Um, the other big benefit is you earn points whilst you're there. So for every dollar you spend you get a point. So when you get 250 points you get $25 credit. So for those who go dining with families and you're going to go to these restaurants anyway, there's no harm in earning the points and getting some credit off in the future. Definitely, and the, the, you can redeem the, the rewards, the $25 rewards in increments of $25. Um, so once you reach your next 250 points, theoretically you've got another $25 reward to use. Um, and the same rules apply with the deferments um, and the expiry dates as well. With those rewards. Yeah, so obviously some of the benefits sound good. One of the greatest benefits as well is um, you get priority seating. So for example, we went to Rainforest Cafe and there was a lot of people waiting. We were actually taken um, to the front and seated by the manager and there's two of us and we were put on a table for eight um, and we were just felt like VIPs for the whole meal yet we hadn't done anything different. We just flashed these cards and yeah. as soon as they saw Landry's card we took um, the highest of importance, uh, like this, we got seated straight away. We got one of what we feel was one of the best seats in the house. Um, yeah. We were situated where um, you could see the obviously not real animals, but fake animals, and and when the rainforest lights up and it. 
they, I think they knew it was a great seat and they wanted to show us that we were a valued customer um, being part of the Landry scheme. Um, yeah. So it definitely, we felt the rewards definitely paid off. Yeah, definitely. And for those of you who've been to America know the service is always generally really good in restaurants compared to here in the UK. Um, on this occasion, our server was fantastic, but even after every meal, the manager would come and check we were okay. So we kind of had that VIP service the whole way through, constantly checking we were okay. And then when it came to the bill, the server dealt, the manager actually dealt with all of it for us and made sure that the credits were applied and we were paying the right amount and we had a good experience. So we just felt that alone made it worthwhile. Um, so we really do recommend getting one. It does definitely seem to be a scheme that restaurants take quite seriously. Um, so, you know, from, from the uses that we've had, we, we would recommend it. Um, if, if you go to the restaurants that we've said, then it, it could well be a benefit to you. Definitely. So just one more time, I don't know how well that's going to show on there, but it's the Landry's card. What we'll do is we'll put a link to the Landry's card website down below. I can't think of anything else that's important to know. It's LandrysSelect.com, so if you wanted to check it out, there's uh, a couple of ways you can actually get a card. Um, if you're already in one of the listed re uh, restaurants on their website, they may well have or on, on a stand or even on your table, they might have an application form with, the, with a card already attached to the application form, in which case, because you've already got the card, you can go straight to the website and register uh, quite quickly alternatively visit the website that I've just mentioned and there'll be a join now option on the top left of the website and it's just a quick form to fill in basic information like address um, username and password and then the time scales that Luke mentioned earlier with regards to getting the card through the post um, would apply so there are a couple of options and just also just remember if you ever forget your card because you know, we're only human, we don't always remember things, especially me. Mm. Um, you can actually tell your server the telephone number um, that you've linked to your account. So if you're in the restaurant and you want to earn the points but you haven't got your card, tell the server your telephone number, he'll enter it into their till system and it will link up your account so you can, you know, earn the points or even redeem any rewards you've got. Um, so yeah, definitely remember that as well. Great, well hopefully that helps. Um, yes. see every little money saving tip helps when we go to Florida, so hope that helps you as well. Yeah, and thanks for watching. Thank you.